how you began this project or where it began for you. Um, I, I start to write uh, this, the script uh, after finishing Pandora's box about uh, 2009. I was traveling in this area a lot uh, while when I was doing Pandora's box. It was on the road also. And uh, many moments uh, inspired me on the bus stations while we were staying maybe some minutes. Uh, I start to notice the people who are working in such a big stations, very young people, 24 hours shifting. And uh, also this industrial town we passed. Uh, and uh, slowly I thought about those moments uh, what influenced me and the love story, how it came out. And uh, the story started like that. And the actors, are any of them professional? Um, did you find them in, in this place? Or? Uh, these two, um, not really very professional. The girl, Neslihan Atakil, she was uh, acting in, in, in small role in TV series. And uh, five years ago, also, she acted in a very small role in one feature film. And it's a big responsibility for her. It's the first time like that. Uh, and I found her uh, from that TV series. The boy, uh, Olgun Barış Acıhan, uh, actually his name, uh, it is for him first time. Uh, he is uh, uh, not a professional actor, in fact. And the rest, uh, Dalia, yes, she is very professional and very, very well known. And Özcan, uh, who is Mahor, the truck driver, who is quite very, very well known also in Turkey, a singer and the an actor. Um, I wanted to ask you about this region of Turkey which we see in so many Turkish films, and if you could tell us something about it, the, the place. The place. It's actually somewhere in the middle, in the middle of uh, Turkey, very close to Ankara, where is in the capital and middle, central part of Anatolia. And the road is between Istanbul and Ankara, the bus station, and the main, actually, it is on the main highway. Uh, uh, between Ankara and Istanbul. This little industrial town is just very close in the center. It's uh, like somewhere in between for me, like in Purgatory. Uh, we did everything in winter time, biggest part. In, it's, it's in the cold time. And so the title has to do with the place, but does it also have to do with the, the age of the two young people being in fact, everything is, uh, is uh, related to purgatory or to be in somewhere in between, like their age. They are teenagers and just about being an adult, a uh, man or person in between. And the place where they live, uh, in passing way, place like bus station or the little town, industrial town, not really anymore uh, functioning. Or uh, the truck driver, uh, his job is uh, in the territory too. It's in, uh, there is no future, or if we don't know if there will be a future for him, for such a job, a heavy job. Um, everything is related to the expectation of life, 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 life or Anything about with the dreams, um, I think I, I, when I was writing, I felt like uh, like in limbo. Um, just two more things I want to ask, and then we'll open it up. Um, one has to do with your use of the red truck, um, which I thought was so marvelous in the film, and how every time it appears. And it's slightly different, the angle, and sometimes it's ominous, and sometimes it's this vehicle of desire, you know? So could you tell us a little bit about how you chose the size and the color? And... Uh, 
it is like we call it uh, ten tails. Uh, it's it's quite big one actually.